Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of The Hanged Man. When we left off, um, we had a lot of stuff going on. Keith had a nice talk with us, and I was... Okay. I wanted to see what was over here before we started to go home, and apparently I'm already getting scared. Cool. Neat. Fun. Th that scared me. It seems more run down than the other buildings. I'd better be careful. Okay, kitchen. Okay, building map. Sure, take the map. There's a notice up on the bulletin board that says staff must always wear a name tag. Okay, staff room. Uh, I guess we're gonna explore over here then. Cause I'm not sure what we're doing yet. Keith says that we need to go ahead and get ready to go back home and search another day, but it's letting me go this way. So yeah, nothing in the trash can. Trash smells awful. Trash shoot, okay. So can I go in here? Oh geez. Some staff name tags on the shelves. Tyler Gomez, Norman Cross, Dennis Potter, Dan Fernandez, and Hugo Elliott. Okay, a bed for staff. So why were those there? I'm not sure. What's in here? Okay. There's a strange stain on the wall. It looks sort of like a person. Creepy. Please, please don't chase me. One of you guys mentioned how there hasn't been a chase scene yet, and you know what? I'm okay with that. I don't want there to be a chase scene. <laughs> so let's not, let's not jinx me. Unless you guys already know and you're toying with me. Artwork of the month, room 4305, Kenny Jenkins. I love to shake hands with good people. Okay, that person's wearing a name tag. Kenny Jenkins? Was that one of the... Okay, 4305. Jenkins. Alright. Got a hole here. And nothing. Okay. I have a theory. And it's a theory I don't like very much. Okay, I don't see Kenny Jenkins' name tag there. I'm wondering... If we're gonna have to quote unquote... Whoa! Uh, shake hands with that painting. These are all like padded cells. That is, yeah, that's not a shelter for homeless people. Like I know it was, it was like remanufactured. <laughs> Okay, you know what? <laughs> I just started this episode. My heart does not need to be dealing with this. What was that? It's scary. I don't want to go through here. I don't blame you. Okay, we're out of here. F that. Forget that. Okay, I'm guessing there's not another drawer or anything. Those are the only... Whoa, what? No, I don't want Tyler Gomez's name tag. Uh, um, because we saw Kenny Jenkins, but that's none of these. Right? How would you know? How would you know whose name tag you're supposed to wear? Okay, so Kenny is the one who wrote the picture then. But I don't know whose name tag I should wear. I'm afraid if I wear the wrong one, I'm going to get killed or something. Okay. I don't know. Uh, we'll go with Dennis Potter.
Because I have a feeling the uh, individual who we need to uh, shake hands with, yeah, that's going to be down here. Uh. Uh. He doesn't, he doesn't say or do anything. Okay. So I could go through process of elimination and just try everybody's name tag. But I feel like there's supposed to be some kind of method to it, you know? Oh, well, there's only four name tags or five name tags. So I guess we could, we could just try them. But, uh, yeah. I don't think it's going to turn out too well. Yep. Nothing. Nobody wants to shake my hand. I'm a good person. Probably. I mean, I, I, I'm good to animals. And, you know, that's a good thing, right? Okay, so we've tried... We tried Dennis and we tried Norman, so I'll go Dan Fernandez. Because I'm guessing it's not going to be the first or last one. Like, that's too obvious, you know? So we'll try the middle three. And then we'll work our way out to the other two. Nothing? Mm, I mean, it could be none of these. I could be completely wasting everybody's time. But I'd rather try them all. And then look for a clue. Okay, so this is the first one. Uh, no more jumpy scaries, okay? Okay, so if it's not Hugo Elliot, then we don't have the name tag for it. Or I'm not triggering it in the proper way. Let's see. Boom. Alrighty. So I'm guessing your hand was stretched out because you want to shake, right? Not to strangle? No, he doesn't do anything. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. So that's not the answer we need. All right, guys, so this took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take, but I finally got all the pieces to this note here. Roll the dice, three, five, six, one, four, two. Now, actually, the other piece of paper that was um, this note here was telling me where everything was, although I didn't know what rooms they were correlated to. So the one on the very left was actually for the dining room, the dining room where Sophie and Will split apart. That top right table had um, something there. So I'm hoping that this will actually tell me what I need to do with this wooden box. So I need to do three, five, Six, one, four, two. It opened. Obtained a letter to a patient. Okay, so let's see what this letter says. Ah, got another name tag. Okay, Dustin says I'm quitting my job here. I'm writing you this letter. Working in building three, I've been very glad for your kindness because I hated building four. A patient named Kenny hated me especially. He always sought handshakes from everyone, yet when I passed through, he always drew back. Ah, this is exactly what we needed. Thank you for always being friendly with me. It's against the rules to give a gift, so I'll give you the name tag I always wore. I hope you will remember me. I'd like to meet you again on the outside. Take care. Yep, we need to wear that name tag. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, I'm gonna save again, but yes. Okay, so now he's gonna draw back instead of wanting a handshake. That stupid dice. Yeah, we're good. We're good. N nothing happened. Good. Anything in here? No. We can progress finally. Oh, good. I hear something weird. Maybe I don't want to progress. Looks sort of like a person, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I saw one that was open. Okay, we're good. F for real, this is bad. I need to find Pop and get out of here. Hello? Uh-oh. There's something written on the floor. Demons are coming from the shower room from the hallway, and now from even this room. This place is hell. The screams of the dead echo here. The demons must be stopped at once. Oh, I'm good to save. Strange. Yeah, those, those are the demons, aren't they? Oh, remember that chase scene that wasn't going to happen? Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, nothing. Why? Why now? Why is all this happening? Okay, I saw another one that was open. I'm just going to assume... That unless it's open, we don't need to go to it. It's locked, okay. What? There's nothing here. Why was that one open? God dang it! Ah, <sighs> okay. Nothing. I don't have a key, do I? No, no key. So, where? What? There's nothing in any of these rooms. But one is definitely open. Is there something here? No? Okay. Card, letter, note, spray can. Oh, maybe we can spray can in here? No. No. Um, pencil case. Why do I have a pencil case? I don't even remember why I have a pencil case. Card. That's the hangman card, which nothing's happened. I, I don't know if I need to trigger something in here. Note. Okay, what about my letter? You're a demon child, someday you'll be in hell for your sins. What the heck? I, I can't possibly have to go all the way back after this, right? Right? There's no way. Can I spray you? Oh, not the pencil case. The spray paint. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan or a bad plan, but it is a plan. So there is one here too, right? Yeah, you. Ooh, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> oh, I have a bad feeling. Okay. So is that door gonna open now? I don't think it's that cut and dry. I really don't think it's that cut and dry. Uh, I got nothing. Is it gonna open? Can't go this way, huh? Ah! Oh god! Diggity dang it! Oh, we're locked in! J Jeez, that scared me! What the hell? Yeah, we're locked in. Oh, we're locked in! Huh? It won't open. You're kidding me. Hey, is anybody there? Keith! Keith, hey, open up! Open the door! I don't think Keith is going to be here to save Keith! us. What?
It's the card. The Hanged Man. Yeah, the Hanged Man was what started it, when I started to see strange things. So are we finally meeting the Hanged Man after all this time? Just hanging around. What if he actually said that? Does it look like I'm playing around? No. My mom said you shouldn't climb trees. Oh, he, he's not really climbing it. I, I wouldn't say will. Oh, I'm not climbing. I'm hanging. Why are you hanging? Why do you think? I don't know. That's super creepy. I'm sure you will someday. I'm not hanging because I want to. I was hanged by all the things. This is where you say, Okay, mister, nice to meet you. I'm going to get my ball now. It started with a minor sense of wrongness in myself. In others, mm -hmm. in society, in the world. A deficit of things that should just naturally be. Mere nagging feelings that seemed to corner me without even noticing. They got bigger, made me suffer, until they became a rope around my neck. Very, very telling. Of the society we live in. Hi! Where will never overlook even the most trivial feelings and sensations never shut your eyes so creepy you sense everything you feel that is your ally and the very world itself never doubt it if you do it will all become your enemy are you giving I'm me sure life the advice? Things that cornered me will someday stand behind you too. Neat. I don't really get it, but I feel like you're saying something really important. Yeah, strange, actually. Can I come visit you again? I want to hear more. Will. Um, you can come see me anytime. I, I don't think that's a good idea. I really don't think that's a good idea. Just take your ball and go, buddy. I'm gonna go play outside, Mom! With the dead guy! Don't go playing in the woods in the back. There might be policemen there. You know he closed the door and left a long, long time ago, right? Yeah, what happened there? After I met the hanged man, I started seeing all these strange things. Mime, Murdoch, Misery, Old Billy, and Pop too. Of course I know. There's no way a talking rat could exist. I just don't want to acknowledge it. If I did, I really would be just nuts. More than anything, I'm scared of losing such a reliable friend who knows everything. I just don't know. Are the things I see and hear real or not? Nobody could see or hear my friends, so everyone figured that they were in my head. That would make sense at least. But what about the hanged man? He was a real person who killed himself. He definitely existed. Or was he just fake too? What's fake and what's real? No one understood me. Mom worried for me, but she didn't believe me. Dad listened to me all the time. He didn't make fun of me or anything. 
I felt like he was the only one who got me. Which makes sense because it could be a genetic thing, a hereditary thing that they can see these spirits. But dad was a traitor and a coward, just like that counselor. At the same time, he was saying he loved me and mom. He was abandoning his other family. And I feel like I sort of get what the hangman said now. What he told me was like a revelation. As you grow up, you start to see things you didn't. You turn distrustful of things that only just bothered you as a kid. With others just as much as myself, I don't know what's a lie and what's the truth. I feel like the path I'm getting on is all twisted. I've always felt uneasy about how at this rate I might end up meeting the same fate as the hanged man. I want someone to tell me, to admonish me, let me know what's wrong and what's right. That's Keith. Or David. David could probably do it too. Honestly, I just want to keep walking a straight path like anybody else. But maybe that was impossible for me from the start. Because I'm the demon child who ruined David's family. <laughs> Poor Will. I really do feel bad for Will. He's been through a lot. Who put that card through the bars, though? What am I even doing? There's no point in crying to myself here. Help might never come, so I've got to do something myself. I'll cool my head and think. I'm sure I can settle this if I do that. Okay. Check high. Check the door handle. Check low. Check high. There's nothing of note. Okay. Check low. Nothing of note. Check the door handle. When I lower the handle, there's no resistance. So is the handle broken? Normally, lowering the handle would catch the bolt inside and open the door. I'll look in the gap to see if the bolt's moving. Be careful. Thought so. The bolt's not moving. Maybe it'll open if I catch the bolt with something. Ideally, something L-shaped. L-shaped? Um... I've got a knife. It's a little thick. I don't think it'll fit in the gap. Okay. Pencil case. Oh, okay. Pencil, marker, ruler, eraser. Uh, ruler. It might fit in the gap, but will it catch the bolt? I mean, that's if I had something L-shaped. I don't think we do. Pencil? <laughs> no. Of course it won't. Card. It's not like it's mine. It's probably okay to fold it, right? All right. Now to stick this in the gap in the door. Are we good? Did I do the thing? I did it. I got out. See? I could do that just fine. It's stupid to cry about it. I can't just be freaking out. Still locked. Okay, so now what? We just go back? Who put me in there in the first place? I don't know. I don't know. I feel super uneasy. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is awesome. Right? Yeah. Totally awesome. So we need... Uh! What was that sound? I, I don't think we should really care about it too much. <sighs> was it up here? Will. Oh, hi, Robert. What are you doing over there? Ah, it's nothing. Just, um, looking at this art. It's not really art, per se. Anyway, Will, I was looking for you. I know I was told to leave, 
but I really wanted to apologize. You know, I don't like the fact that we're both right next to a gigantic hole in the floor. I'm truly so sorry for earlier. I had no idea that was your rat. You're still a jerk. It wasn't Pop. Huh? That rat wasn't Pop, so you don't need to apologize. Oh, oh, good. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so don't stomp around on other creatures, hey, okay? Ryan, why did you grab me earlier? Oh, about Ed. Sorry for that. I was a bit bewildered after having the detective glare at me. I apologize for getting rough. I'd advise staying away from that detective. You can't tell what he's thinking. He's just scary. I feel like he's will. Robert scarier than we Keith get is. Separated from your friend. If you like, I'll search with you. Can you tell me what he looks like? Uh, like the rat you stepped on. I don't wanna. Why not? Because you're a liar. You were looking for someone in the library, saying you came here for nostalgia is a big fat lie. And when you grabbed me. It was right after I said Ed's name. Mm -hmm. You're still looking for something even now, aren't you? I'm sure you're not a bad person, but you're hiding something. That's why you're always averting your eyes. He also may hate eye contact. I'm not really the best at eye contact, I'll be honest. I'll, I'll talk to somebody and then I'll be looking away the entire time. And yeah, Keith might be scary, alright. Someone who sneaks around in secret like us. But... He looked me in the eyes and talked to me, and it felt like he understood me. Keith is a good guy. I'll give him that. But you, what are you hiding? It's not. It's not like I'm keeping secrets because I want to, you know? Okay, don't yell at me. Why did this have to happen to me? I haven't done anything. We might need to run. And after I'd finally crawled my way up from that shithole of a life. It's all his fault. That damn father of mine. I can't believe it. Why would you do that? I can't. Why uh, would you uh, It's him. It's Will, him. get over here. Yeah. Why would you I can't. Why this guy's can't. acting weird. Now, now we're shaking together in unison. Come on, over here. Why I'm already... Ah! Oh, God! Let go of Will. I was holding the arrow down already. Don't move a muscle. G get rid of your gun. <laughs> I said get rid of it. Okay. Do you realize what you're doing? Detective, tell me the truth. You all, you suspect me, don't you? That's why you're watching me. Acting like a psycho doesn't help your case too much. I didn't. I didn't kill my father, I tell you. I despised him, certainly. And I wonder if his father was the uh, hanged man. Quick to turn violent. A complete shithead. But once I got away from him, I've been doing nothing but honest work. Why would I go kill him and make myself unhappy again? Please, stop trying to hunt me down. If you keep chasing me... I feel like I'll go insane. You're already there, buddy. We don't suspect you. The circumstantial evidence makes it clear. You're not the killer. Then why assign someone to watch me? Thought I told you. He's your guard. Because the killer might come for you next. That's inconceivable. You think of yourself as a victim. And so do we. But not to him. To him, there's no difference between the father who beat him and you who abandoned him there. What are you talking about, Keith? Abandoned. Even after I ran from our father, I've been sending him money. I didn't abandon him. We know. We're not blaming you for your past actions. And with your own family now, we know you want to keep them safe. So, I want you to trust us a little more. Please, let go of Will. Stop driving yourself into a corner. Yeah, seriously. I'm not a bad guy. I'm going to take this kid hostage. Won't you let my little brother Ed go? What? He's just not the kind of person to kill someone. He may be slow, but he's kind. They he think he animals. killed? Huh. He's a really good person. 
You've never talked to my brother, have you? He has a terrible stutter. That's what our father's beating did to him. It wouldn't be a surprise for anyone to kill our father, human garbage that he was. And if anyone had the right to kill him, it would be Ed. Really? It's true. I abandoned Ed along with my father. I knew if I left him there, he would only be unhappy. That's why, now, I have to protect him, before he becomes any more unhappy. Don't get the wrong idea. We're not the ones judging him. Our job is just to catch him. If he gets away now, he'll just be running forever. Could you call that happiness? Whew! Thank you! If you're going back to the hotel, I can escort you. I'm fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. Or rather, let me be alone. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Um, Keith, so it was Robert's dad who got killed? Mm-hmm. I told you not to get involved. I'm not saying a word to you. Come on, Will. Don't you feel like leaving yet? Yes. <laughs> I do. I don't know why I bothered to ask. Alright, bye, Keith. Robert? He's Ed's brother. So then, Ed killed their dad? No way. Ed can't be a killer, right? He seemed nice to me. If I see Ed again, what should I do? Wait, does Keith even know Ed is here? Uh, I've got to go tell him. Okay, so actually I'm going to leave this episode right here. And we will continue on the next time because we are all out of time for this one. But, oh, it's getting so good. All, this, all the threads are coming together now. And I'm really curious to see what's going to happen next. But either way, we will save that for next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.